Is it too early to give you a Merry Christmas? Not too early if you ask me, and I would know, because here on Upstreet, we are counting down the days until Christmas. And my clock says it's two weeks away, and that feels so close, but also so far. closer. It's coming up in just two weeks. I figured you knew. It's kind of a big deal, right? And it should be. There's so much to Christmas. Family, friends, lights on your houses, Christmas trees, parties, awesome food, and maybe it snows where you live. And yes, the presents. And of course, that huge promise from God, right? Wait, you don't know about the promise? But you all know what a promise is though, right? It's when someone says they'll do something. They make a commitment about something in the future. But promises can sometimes be tricky. Like, has someone ever made a promise to you that they didn't keep? Or have you ever made a promise that you didn't keep? For us, promises that are easily made can also just as easily be broken. But when it comes to promises, God isn't like us. When he says he'll do something, he follows through. He does it, always. God keeps his promises every time. And one of the biggest promises God ever made, we can read about in the Bible. The Bible is one big book on the outside, but on the inside, it's actually 66 different books full of different stories and advice from God. And sometimes it can be kind of intimidating to read it because it's huge. But what you need to know today is that this book is actually also one big story about how much God loves you and why he sent his son for you. So this promise that God made came true on Christmas. It's actually why we celebrate Christmas at all. This promise was about a gift, the best gift ever. But this gift would come in a way that no one ever expected. Let me show you what I mean using this big Bible right here. A long time ago, there was a girl named Mary who was engaged to a guy named Joseph. Yeah, that's right, Mary was getting married. One day, out of the blue, God sent an angel, a real live angel from heaven, to appear to Mary with a very special message. Okay, so imagine how you might react if suddenly an angel was standing right in front of you. That would be a crazy surprise, right? Well, Mary was surprised and scared and confused. The angel told her not to be afraid he told Mary that she was going to have a baby. This baby would be our savior, Jesus. You see, for years and years and years, people had been waiting and waiting and waiting for God to keep his promise to send a savior. And now it was finally happening. God was going to send his son and Mary's whole life was about to be turned upside down. So of course, she was unsure and scared. Mary said, how can this happen? So the angel said, no word from God will ever fail. Do you know what that means? That no word from God will ever fail? That means when God makes a promise, he will keep it because God keeps his promises. God made a promise to send Jesus to be our savior and he kept that promise. That's why Christmas is such a big celebration. Now, let me pause there real quick on Christmas because, you know, sending Jesus to be our savior isn't the only promise God has made. He's made a ton of promises to us that he always keeps. In fact, the Bible is full of God's promises to us. Oh. God loves me. This promise is so, so good. This promise is like what all other promises are built on. God loves me, God loves you, in fact, we can read in the Bible that God is love. That means love is his idea. He created it. And because God is perfect, he loves you perfectly. He doesn't just love you some of the time, like when you make the team or do the right thing. God loves you always, when you get it right and when you mess up. You don't have to do anything to make God love you more, and you can't do anything to make him love you less. And remember, like the angel told Mary, 
No word from God will ever fail. So when we read about God's promise to love us no matter what, you can believe it because God keeps his promises every time. Oh man, I love this promise. God is always with me. There isn't anywhere you can go that God's not there. When you feel alone or scared or left out, you're really not alone. Remember, God loves you. And because of how big that love is, he is with you all the time, no matter where you go or what you do. <laughs> this one's a good one too. I can trust God no matter what. You can always trust God because you know that he loves you. See how it all builds on God's love? Listen, God knows everything about everything. That means his way is always best. You can put all your confidence in God because he will always lead you in the right direction. When you understand that God loves you and that he will never leave you, trusting him just makes sense. Now that's just three examples of God's promises, but the Bible is full of them. God makes us promise after promise. Like God is always good. God will always take care of me. God will always provide for me. God will give me everything I need. God will give me wisdom to know what to do. I will go live with him forever one day. God is close when I'm hurting. And so many more promises. Okay. <laughs> These promises from God aren't just words that mean nothing. Remember, no word from God will ever fail. When God makes a promise, you can count on him to keep it because God keeps his promises always, every time. Do you know why this is such a big deal? Because God knew we would need these promises. He knows when you face a situation that's scary and you just want to hide. You need to remember God's promise that he is always with you. You're not alone. Or when you feel like everything is the worst, that you've messed up too many times or things aren't going your way, he wants you to remember his promise that he loves you no matter how many mistakes you've made. Or when you're not sure what to do, you need help because right now you're just confused. He wants you to remember his promise to give you wisdom so you can trust him no matter what. Christmas is about the biggest promise God ever gave us. And it's a promise he kept when he sent Jesus. Mary grew up knowing all of these promises from God. She knew God loved her, that he was with her, and that she could trust him no matter what which is why when God made this promise to send Jesus, she knew it would come true. God promised that he was going to send a savior, his son, Jesus, to show all the people in the world how much he loved them. And Christmas is about God keeping that promise. And because God kept that promise, you can know for sure that all the other promises are true. That God loves you, that God is always with you, and you can trust God no matter what. God always does what he says he is going to do. No word from God will ever fail. Let's pray and thank God for always keeping his promises. God, thank you for Christmas. Thank you for keeping your promise to send us Jesus. Thank you for doing what you say you will do, for loving us, for never leaving us, and for showing us that we can trust you no matter what. We love you, amen. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9-6 Happy birthday, Jesus!
Shining the 